These are some of the most obscure characters in all of Melee. You'll only see them in classic mode or in certain event matches. They aren't on the regular roster, well, because you're kind of not supposed to play as them. These are the one and only, the strangest characters of all of Super Smash Bros. Melee. While there are plenty of characters that are only playable through the debug mode, these are by far some of the most interesting. They are clearly not viable whatsoever. In fact, if you're allowed to use these characters in a tournament in any way, they're actually far from being really that good at all. They're just bad. Now, sorry. I don't want to step on the toes of anyone who are fans of these really obscure characters. They can be playable, which is nice. With the aforementioned debug mode or modding, these characters can actually be used in a match, which is kind of neat. The melee wireframes are the spiritual successors of the Smash 64 fighting polygon team, except unlike that game, there's only variants of two characters instead of the entire roster. The wireframes in melee are essentially clones of Captain Falcon and Zelda. They are way weaker, their attacks are made laughably worse compared to the original versions of these characters. They're terrible, they're light, most likely because they're supposed to be made light to be KO'd easily in one player modes. They have zero, yes, zero special moves, which is kind of hilarious as this is a big reason why they aren't competitively viable in Melee. The fact that they have no special moves means they have no recovery tool, so to compensate for that, the devs gave them extremely high jumps and really low gravity, so they almost feel like a brawl character in Melee. That's how I see it at least. Their moves in general have really low knockback and little KO power and are essentially worse moves of melee attacks that already exist. And compared to the 64 fighting polygon team, the wireframes have really high jumps which aids in their recovery which is something the original 64 version didn't have and they actually can use their grab. Yes baby, the wireframes are actually doing something, let's go. There was actually a small group of individuals who actually wanted to learn the ins and outs of these characters and look, they definitely are not good characters. You're never going to see them in competitive melee at all anytime soon. But if you're actually crazy enough to play these characters, I commend you for being a trendsetter. Male wireframes have a better ledge dash than Donkey Kong, Roy, the female wireframe, even high tiers like Marth for some reason. He has a really good wave dash and it's right around Falcon and Sheik. So for some reason these characters kind of have decent movement in a way. They're very unique out of all the melee characters as far as movement, but the female wireframe has terrible wave dash and movement because she's obviously copying Zelda, which means she has some of the worst mobility in the game. All of their aerials have crazy amounts of landing lag. They have 30 frames of actual lag on their attacks, which is kind of just crazy. Again, this was made purposefully bad because you're supposed to KO these characters in the one player modes, but still as a viable character, this is instantly going to make you bad. Because their character models are so big, that means they're sitting ducks most of the time because they don't have ways to combat getting combo to death or even getting camp, especially since they don't have the special moves that the clone characters have. This means they don't have very many tools in the neutral at all as they're missing most of the tools that their counterpart clones have. This mostly affects the male wireframe more because Captain Falcon actually does have some decent special moves and the male wireframe does not get any at all. Because their jumps are so awkward and high, it also means comboing with these characters is no easy feet whatsoever. The male wireframe is probably slightly better than the female wireframe, but it's because the male wireframe is taking heavily from Captain Falcon who is a high tier character. Male wireframe also has a really weird throw that actually might chain grab spaces and it's kind of hard to do. It's a little similar to Captain Falcon's up throw, but that means it's actually a decent throw for the character. Also the wireframe lacks the rapid jab attack that Falcon has. Forward air is still a part of the moveset, so he does have the knee, but it has like literally no KO potential, it's kind of sad how nerfed this move is. A cute thing to know also is some would argue that the wireframes have some edges in very minute things, they might have an edge here and there. Like for example, because of the active frame changes, male wireframes giant character model, that means up air takes a crazy amount of space, almost more than Captain Falcon's does, so you do have a lot of range even though your character model is very big. To put in perspective how bad the female wireframe is, Zelda is a low tier character, so imagine an even lower tiered version of Zelda. So she's even weaker than an already really weak character. On average, most of her moves are dealing less percent than the original characters. All the wireframes, smash attacks, and tilts have been completely gutted, and it really just shows how bad the female wireframe is because she's essentially a worse version of an already terrible character. No offense, Zelda mains, I'm sorry. Just going by the tier list. Tier lists don't lie, honest content. If these characters were added officially to melee, they would for 
sure be way below the already low tier characters that are in melee as they're way worse than the characters that they're clones of. There are some mods out there that make these characters more viable, but I guess we are going to have to live in a world where they're just bad and no one really wants to spend time playing them. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Patreon down below. Peace.